Hey, this is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. Now, could silver ever lose its value? This is a question that I think a lot of people do ask themselves because if silver's value is depreciated or loses that that, you know, that hold that it has in the industrial world in technology, what would happen? Well, I want to pose this question and break it down to different, to different ideas and different, um, to different viewpoints. Because with any type of asset, there are several different price influencers and several different factors that are into play. So let's talk about some of them. So silver's real value from the physical bullion asset comes from its metal content. Now silver being the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity is extremely valuable, extremely precious in electronics, laptops, cell phones, in space equipment, mirrors, dental alloys. There's silver nanoparticles for the medical world. There's colloidal silver. So silver is extremely useful in the everyday world, in a, in a materialistic world. So for this to lose its value, something else would have to replace silver. Something else ha would have to perform better than silver does in these electronics, in these gadgets, but also for cheaper. Because let's, you know, you let's, you guys know that everything is about money. Money revolves around the world. These big business corporations, they're in it to make the most profits. So if something could replace silver and make their cost, you know, per, per you know, asset, cheaper to to produce to build then they're going to do it they don't care about silver's you know um, productivity or whatever if something else can replace silver and make their products cheaper to make to produce and for them to make more money they're going to use it but the thing about silver is which makes it so valuable is because well actually that makes it so undervalued is because spot price is only seventeen dollars on a on a high day which means that silver is extremely cheap for an ounce which can do a lot in uh, in any type of laptop or any cell phone so right now silver is the perfect investment the perfect Pro, uh, you know product the perfect asset for these companies because it's so cheap so cheap and no other metal can perform the way that silver does for as cheap as it is so it's not looking like silver is going to go anywhere and this is something that I always try to question myself with because that is silver's strong point that is silver's you know one up on every other metal is because it performs at the rate it does for that cheap so when I'm looking into the future in a technological viewpoint where we're advancing, we're advancing society where everything's electronics, everything is digital in the digital age, we're going to need more and more silver, especially if these companies want to keep making the same profits, which obviously they're profit driven, they're money hungry. So it's definitely going to be the dividends going to keep growing. So with that mind state, I definitely think that silver is going to continue to be valuable and if not more valuable more needed and big business industries are willing to pay any price that's that you know let's so let's put it this way let's say silver does go up to a hundred dollars in a few years these companies are still going to be buying silver because they have to make their their produce their goods and services with silver in it and if no other metal if gold's fifteen hundred dollars which is the next best thing then they're definitely going to rather pay a hundred dollars than fifteen hundred dollars per ounce now let's also flip it and look from the consumer mind state we need well we don't need they need we hope that they keep using silver because that's keeping our gadgets our cell phones relatively cheap if another metal was replaced with silver that costed more money, they're going to have to boost the price up, which means the retail value which we have to pay would also be boosted up as well. So silver is not only helping big business on that end, the, the, the seller end, but also the consumer end. So a lot of people don't give silver enough credit for how influential and how beneficial it is from society's standpoint. 
Now there's also other other alleyways we can we can you know go down when it looks when we're talking about silver's you know um about silver's price or I guess whether it's future longevity and let's go into this so gold to silver or gold and silver historically have always been deemed valuable silver has been, has been you know used as a tradable form of currency for 6000 years basically since the beginning of man people traded with silver and understood its its value that it has in society even back 6000 years ago in biblical times you know silver was used as a form of magic people thought it was magical because the way that it it, it you know it it um, worked with um, certain elements and um, in the Egyptian days they saw it was magical because it could purify water and it can cure sickness so looking forwards we're only going to keep finding out keep creating more beneficial uses that silver has and other things that it can it can be used for meaning that its spot at its spotlight where its main focus is its main you know, um, factor of importance is, is only going to keep growing bigger, not decreasing. So I only see silver's importance growing more relevant in the world. Now, I've made videos talking about how much silver is produced every year worldwide. I've made videos talking about why we need this much silver. I've also made videos talking about, you know, what is all this silver used for? Um, so I, I really want to, when I did that little study, that three day period, that three day period of all that research, you know, breaking down how much, why is it used for that? You know, where is it going? Um, it, it really showed me on a large scale, uh, perspective, how realistic and how, um, I guess just how relevant silver is in the everyday world. It was actually, it was that, that study I did was actually mind blowing. Also, it was interesting to see some of the, the statistics that came along with it when I read that one statistic saying that only 1% of people that invest in silver is for the physical bullion, meaning 99% of people that invest in gold and silver is from the paper side of it, silver ETFs, which is missing the whole important, you know, it's missing the whole point. The whole silver's entire value comes from its metal content. And if you're not investing in the metal content of it, you're missing the literally the whole point of investing in silver and gold. So that shows me right there that a lot of people aren't educated on, you know, the, the values that silver can bring to the table. Now, there's also a part of this video we can take comparing silver ETFs, the paper side of it, compared to the bullion side and asking or I guess opposing the question, how much of those of the of these you know prices or how much of these markets influence each other so silver etfs does influence silver spot price but to what degree and and i want to flip that question and ask how much of the physical bullion um you know uh, um you know affects or or influences the silver etf side when we saw merrill lynch and uh manipulating trillions of dollars on these silver etfs placing false buy orders was that hurting silver's spot price? Because if we can see if there's a correlation to those two, then we can kind of get the idea on how speculative silver really is in a society, or is it not really speculative, but is it held by real value because it's used in the everyday world? And these are things I, I'm curious about strictly because it's going to show me in the future heading forwards on you know how stable silver can be especially if something does come up that's you know a bump in the road or you know something that causes panic in society it kind of shows me how how valuable or how strong my asset can hold during a tragic event so these are things that i i think are important questions to ask but also look for answers and you know there's never really a clean cut answer there's a lot of gray room but the more we understand it, the more we're aware of it, the more insight we gain and knowledge we gain, data we, we can kind of, you know, reflect on, the better off, the more understanding we'll be. 
But um, I'm just curious what you guys thought about this video. Do you think silver will ever lose its value, or do you think it's it's priceless, especially comparing it to the U.S. dollar or to fiat currency? And that's another thing is you can't really peg silver's value to fiat currency because fiat currency is based off of debt and based off of a off of a system that's collapsing. So silver only is the real the real money in this situation in regards to what really has value in uh, in a world to today at least. So. Uh, and I'm curious what you guys thought about this video. If you thought it was, you know, um, insightful, inf informational, educational, even just entertaining, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. I post daily videos, posting two to three videos a day, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I will see you guys soon. Peace.